Hi guys! So Comptoas has just announced that the Hall of Heroes for the month of September is the Dice Magicians. The Wind Dice Magician, sorry. Uh, it's Morris, okay. And I think this is one of the newer monsters that has been in the Hall of Heroes, right? He, this Dice Magician was introduced with uh, the Harm Magician, so... Um, one of the few few newer monsters. So I guess this is quite an interest, quite a nice he hall of heroes actually. Usually, usually um, come to us, give us those um, skill up, those hall of heroes, the monsters that are, that are usually used for skill up. But I think for Morris, it's a quite a decent monsters. I have the three basic dice magic, the big, the three basic elements dice magician. I have Morris, fully six stars, and I don't think it's fully runes, uh, fully max skill yet. Yep, I still need three, so I can max skill. I can max skill him. Um, and this when it first came out, this dice magicians. Um, at least the basic elements. So I've not, I haven't had the chance to get the um, dark, the light and dark. But I have the all the basic one. They are. They are mostly have some sort of RNG element on their skills, right? All of them. So let's take a look at Morris. Uh, first skill, I think it's the same one for all, for all three, isn't it? Let me think. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me take a look. Yeah, all all of them have this. Wait, is it the same? Oh no, no, no they are slight. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they are the same. All these dice magician has some sort of uh, RNG, RNG uh, skill set. I mean, for the first skill, they roll two dice, roll two dice to attack the enemy two times, two dice two times, and grants an effect according to each number you get for the two for two turns as follow. If you roll the amount is four, you get a heal block. If you roll the amount is Five. For each number, sorry, it's for each number. So if you roll four, it's a heal block on one of the dice, isn't it? If you roll a five, it decreases the defense, and if it's a six, it's a glancing. But if you roll one, two, and three, you didn't get any of the any of the effect, the debuff. I mean, okay. For his Morris second skill, you also roll two dice to attack. All enemies AOE. You stun them if the total of the two die two dice is greater than seven. And it's speed break if it's lower than seven. Instantly gains another turn if you get the same number. So it's quite nice. Unlucky seven. So that means if you roll seven, it doesn't do any debuff. Hmm. Okay, y'all, if you roll the dice and it got the same number, you got another turn. So, very RNG based. And for Morris, he has a passive. And it, at the start of each turn, it rolls two dice. And if an ally dies, we show the ally. Okay, if you roll the same number, you revive all your dead allies. With more HP, at the sum of the number is crystal. Okay, so... Uh, if you roll a double six, they will your allies will be revived with a higher HP than if you roll a double one. Very RNG base. AOE AO revive, but it's so random. So I think for Morris, it's an interesting unit, it's an interesting monster. He might not be a reliable revive, of course, because it's RNG base, but it could it could definitely um, wreck some havoc, wreck, creates problem in a uh, world arena, right? In RTA, because well, every time he moves, um, he had a chance to revive dead allies. But then again, in um, higher rank world arena, I I don't think there there will be a lot of people using. Morris because he's too RNG, he's too luck based. 
you have to depends on your luck right to to um to roll um to roll a uh, doubles but he definitely you can use definitely you can use him in warina especially in lower ranks i guess where not many people has all those um got tire got tier rt units right the sssssss units and of course he is also very interesting in world arena special league uh, for four star below or maybe also 20 stars definitely an interesting um monsters units very rng base and i think if you want to ruin him definitely go for violent because the more turns that he gets the more chance that he, the more he has the chance to revive for their dads uh, your dads uh, your allies right your dead allies um violent would be nice violent will i guess is is good violent anything actually is good just get the stat again i think you just ruin him with um speed hp hp so that he can be annoying when he guts the he guts the rng on your side it will be very annoying because you can keep on reviving your dead dead allies right so i would assume to ruin her to ruin him with violent speed hp hp as much speed as much as much speed as you can get uh his base speed is also quite nice 102 or uh, and if you already have Morris, definitely, definitely farm. Okay, if you have Morris, if you don't have Morris, build want. If you if you already have Morris, you can use it to skill up your Morris. If your Morris already is already max skilled, you can use it to skill up this the other two, right? Ludo, Reno, Tableau, definitely the the more interest, the more famous out of among those these five, right? Monte is also kind of interesting. Of course, the light and dark is the better is the better of the dice magicians, but the fire and water also is quite interesting. The water one has this one, dice madness. Roll the dice four times to attack area attack to attack all enemies. The larger the number, the larger the number of dice, the greater the damage. And if you roll like um same number it will ignore the enemy defense i think that means you have three chance to ignore the enemy defense roll the first one and if the next one is the same as the first one you you ignore the defense so it's kind of interesting we know ludo is also an interesting one right ludo is just passive roll one dice at a salvage turn oh yeah this one depends on the dice one dice you roll one dice and actually single form is die it's not dice right die die roll one die at the start of each turn damage inflicted to the enemy will be increased up to 70 percent when the attack when attacking if the number of the die is large that means i think four five six and the damage inflicted by the enemy will be reduced if it's small so it's one two three i think it's one two three and four five six so if you roll four five six you deal more damage to the enemy and if you roll one two three you receive less damage i think so so it's kind of very rng based this this three uh, this five this dice magician actually so out of this five of course i like the the light and dark but out of these three basic elements i think reno is more of a damage dealer i guess but they all have Oh yeah, this two is attack though. Morris is interesting also, but I think out of these three, I like Reno the best, I guess. Because he has a chance to ignore defense, right? On his third skill. Although the damage, I think, is not that great. The multiplier is not that high. But still, definitely, Morris is nice. Um... I think he's more of a PvE and eh, no, no, not sorry, not PvE, PvP monsters. You, you, I don't think you're gonna use him in PvE, right? Definitely not to use as a farmer. 
definitely not in TOA because it's too RNG based you don't want to depend on your luck to get through the TOA and for the Kairos dungeons definitely there are better units to use than Morris so I think the only use for Morris is in PvP definitely you can use him in arena I guess I mean you can put him on, on defense in arena and if you got lucky you can revive your death allies and make the I mean you won't win a lot of um, you won't win a lot of defense but you can make them like it takes longer for you for them to to kill to kill your units right so because it's based on RNG it might revive your dead allies so well could be an interesting if you see an arena defense during rush hour maybe I don't know could be could be could 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 make people like skip you um definitely an interesting monsters in my opinion definitely usable in war arena Spe in war arena like special league definitely is a worth one to use and of course the war arena season the the war arena season i don't know what is season now beyond season two season oh, no no it's season six i think it's ending soon so especially it's coming uh, coming around coming soon i guess so if you got like force time below morris will be an interesting unit to use i might even i might even try to use him when the war arena special league is here again i guess i'm gonna ruin him up so if you don't have morris i think you should farm and keep one and try to build but definitely it's for pvp and not for pve so if you are still um focusing on pve definitely just keep him don't build him yet he's more like a pvp unit so a very interesting unit a very luck based unit a very rng based but it's fun to use morris and I guess come to us is giving us um, quite an in interesting um, Hall of Heroes for this month, I guess. Definitely. Oh, well, I'm not saying it's, he's one of the best, but uh, I mean, one of the better, one of the better units, definitely. So do your HOAs, farm him, farm five of them if you can. Keep one, build one when you have. I mean, yeah, when you need some fun units to use in World Arena. So I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.